So we're just gonna do our regular warm up with our feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Get the weight into your feet evenly. Sitting Hello bones there. down, ribs in and up, shoulders down and back. And then reach your crown to the ceiling. Okay, so sitting bones down, lengthen, lengthen your spine and just let your belly soften as you breathe. I mean the belly move as the diaphragm drops, filling your lungs. As you exhale, sinking back in, just emptying. And then we'll inhale, arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, out to the front, keeping your shoulders down. And exhale, your hands behind, just fingertips clasp, lift your heart, and pivot over as you exhale. Spread your toes, bend your knees a little if you want, or straighten them and stretch your hamstrings. Arms towards your head. Take a few breaths there, just letting things begin warming up. And then slowly wind your way back up. Heart to the ceiling, head back, upper body back bend, lifting your chest. And then inhale, coming upright and release. Just feel the circulation. And then we'll do the same thing again. So arms out. Hands to your heart, stretch to the front and behind you. Pass the fingers the other way, lift your heart and exhale over. And again, just hang there, letting that low back get a good stretch. Chin in, work your way up. Just unwind your spine, coming to the top. Lift your heart, and again, stretch that whole spine open as you're in your back bend. Now once more, inhale to the top and release to mountain pose. Feel the circulation getting stimulated. And for our side stretch, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders. Clasp your hands, bring your arms back by your ears. Sitting bones and shoulder blades down and lean without twisting over to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. Reach out through your head and your hands. And then inhale back up and switch to the other side. So opposite hand in front, arms back by your ears, sitting bones down, stretch up, lean over to the opposite direction. And again, just lean into the foot you're moving away from and stretch out through the top of your body. And once more, inhale up and release. Feel your sides a little bit more open and a little twist. So arms out, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders, clasping your elbows. And again, arms back by your ears, sitting bones down, and spine stretching apart for the twist. Exhale and turn your whole body. Breathe in both feet as evenly as you can keep. Stretch and breathe. And then exhale over. So in the twist, just deepen as far as you'd like. See if you can keep the weight on both feet and your arms next to your ears. And then inhale slowly back up. Chest high, elbows back, shoulders down. Take a couple breaths and then inhale to the top and turn back to the center, switching your arms around. And again, lengthen and breathe. Exhale and twist. Take one more breath in and then pivot over, exhaling all the way down. Once more, just a few breaths there, feeling what's going on, seeing if you can keep things even in your feet, arms near your ears. And when you're ready, inhale back up, elbows back, chest high, upper body back bend. Remember, never in your lower back while you're twisted. And then one more inhalation up, exhaling to the center, arms up, 
back out at shoulder level, pivot forward, stretch it all out, and then drop in rag dog, plus hanging. Hands up on your shins, under your knees, <clears throat> press in, elbows, knees, and back straight. And then exhale back down. And once more, arms out and lifting all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart and release. Take a moment, just feel in your body. Get your core activated. And we're going to step just a little wide. And we'll do just a few knee bends going into our frogs. So exhaling, coming down all the way to the mat, or if you're being gentle today, just to your knees. And then inhaling and standing back up. Exhaling down, <coughs> hips going back behind you, inhaling back. And just a few more times, exhaling into the forward bend and inhaling and standing. And just feel your body getting a little bit more energized, especially through that hip area. And then the next time you come up, just pause at the top and return to mountain pose. Take a moment just feeling your body and we'll reach up Pivot over and come all the way to the floor into child's pose for our transition. So hips back, hands, palms up, forehead down, and relax. Just let that back of your body get a good stretch. And then as you inhale, sit back up and into staff position. So press your feet away. Get that core active. So remember, ribs toward your spine and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Sitting bones connected, but a little bit behind you, and feet pressing forward. So let's bring the bottoms of the feet together into butterfly. Just kind of move those sitting bones a little further back, getting things situated and let those heels come in as far as they'd like. You can clasp your hands under your, toe, under your feet or just clasp your big toes with your fingers. Just let the knees come out toward the sides. Now, feel the core, ribs in and up, activating it, and then hands one at a time behind you and just to the floor wherever is comfortable fingertips or palms down, your choice. And then lift your heart, lengthen your spine, and let those knees relax toward the floor. So nice opening across the heart, across the chest. Breathe into it. So notice the core, ribs in and up, activating through that whole midsection. And then releasing your hands back to the front. Slide your feet just a little bit out, hands underneath and onto the tops of your feet. And then press your legs down into your um, forearms and bring your chest and chin towards your heels. Stretch through the spine, lengthen through, out through the crown. And then releasing your hands, sitting back up, lift your knees and back into staff. So again, just notice how your body feels, a little bit more intensely activated in that core perhaps. And we're gonna roll onto our backs using the core for support. So just slowly kind of round your spine, moving all the bones down to the floor. So as you get onto the floor, just take a moment, recline integration, letting your body settle into that surface beneath you. Take a few breaths. Just relax. Press your back down, sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees, and draw those heels in near your hips. Shoulder blades, sitting bones toward your heels. Press the whole back down. We're going to activate that core a little bit more. 
So sitting bones toward the floor, arching up ribs to the ceiling. So shoulder blades, two sitting bones arched up. And just follow your own breath, exhaling and pressing everything down. Slide those sitting bones again toward the heels, bringing that whole spine down, activating through the abs, inhaling, lifting the ribs, and arching sitting bones to shoulder blades. You go at your own pace, fast or slow, your choice. Just keep the focus in those abdominal areas because where you focus is where all the energy is focused. So if you're thinking about something else, you're not being as effective at working those abs. So you really want to feel the abs stretch open as you arch up and contract a little bit more as you sink them down. So just a few more times going through that activation motion, strengthening the low back or while you strengthen those abs. And then returning to, let's say, corpse position. Just take a moment again, feeling that circulation through the midsection. Breathe, just relaxing. We're gonna slide the sitting bones toward your heels and either bend your knees and bring the heels in and both feet up. Or if you feel ambitious, you can raise both feet up together with your legs straight and you want to get them as perpendicular to the floor as you can. So the bend is the pivot as at the top of the thigh at that hip joint. The core is activated, pressing down, supporting you, giving you good support as those legs go up. And if you just stay this way for the whole class, you will be activating and working those abs the whole time. But we're going to get a little bit more intense so you can either bring your hands out to T position, palms up or down. Remember, palms down brings those shoulders into a little bit more contact if that's something that feels like you would need it. So take a moment there, just pressing out through the base of your feet. And then kneecaps toward your thighs, tightening the front of your thighs so those backs of your legs can stretch as much through the hamstrings as feels right for your body. If you need to keep the knees a little bent, that's okay. And we're going to lower one leg at a time. So just exhale, slowly bring one leg down. Just hover over the floor with the heel and then bring it back up. And then the other leg, exhaling it slowly down. And bring it back up. And just a few more times, you can go at your own pace, fast or slow whatever you think your abs like best. Just bringing them down and back up, working slowly or quickly through each leg at a time, keeping that focus on how those abs are working to support you. And remember, a little hover as you get down and then back up. And after you've done it equally on both sides, just pause at the top with both legs. And again, press out through the heels, jam into the back of your body, core active. So ribs toward your spine and then up toward your heart, pulling that belly toward the floor and slowly lowering your legs. If your back starts arching up, you can put your thumbs under the lower back for a little support and then get all the way down and relax. So I should feel like those core muscles are a little bit more activated. Just kind of notice how that feels. And then we're going to take a moment and readjust anything you need to. And again, sitting bones toward your heels and bending your knees, bring those heels in by your hips, by your sitting bones. And again, sitting bones sliding down, getting that low back connected. So take a moment, ribs toward the floor, up toward your heart, feeling that core activate, hands, palms up at your sides. And then we're gonna lift the heart toward the ceiling, bringing your upper body up. You can keep the shoulder blades on the floor. You don't have to crunch all the way to your knees. 
And we're going to keep the hands, palms up near your side and reach them towards your toes. And then release a little bit so your shoulder blades come more onto the mat. If your neck starts hurting, remember, you can put those hands behind your head just for support, not to push with them. Otherwise, keep reaching those fingertips toward the toes as you lift your heart a little higher and then release slightly back toward the heart. And just a couple more times, whether your fingers are reaching toward the toes or just very gently supporting across the back of the neck, keeping those elbows straight out to the sides if you're doing that head support. But remember, it's not a lot of pressure into the head. You don't want to be curling your neck. And then as you exhale, bring your whole upper body down. Again, relax through the belly. You can extend those legs back out to corpse position. Just relax. Just relaxing corpse position. So we're going to bring the hands to T position. Slide your sitting bones slightly towards your heels. Bend your knees. Bring your right leg up. And again, extend it as straight as you can. Hip up toward the ceiling. And then we're going to bring the foot up and across toward your left hand. You can keep this right arm and shoulder on the floor as much as you can. And then release that and bring the foot back up. Flex the heel and lower that leg. And then we'll do the other side. So again, sitting down slightly towards your heel, back connected, bring that left leg up, flex the foot, press it up toward the ceiling, hands, palms up or down, your choice. And we'll bring that left foot across toward the right hand, keeping those shoulders as much down as you can. A little oblique work here for your abs. And then releasing back straight up, flex the heel, Again, slowly lower that leg. So we'll do that a couple more times. Again, you can have your hands palms up, which is a little more released or down, which is going to help your shoulders stay a little bit more connected. Sitting bones towards your heels, right leg slowly up. Get it activated, core working, pressing that foot up and rolling it to the side. So you can bring it up toward the hand or if that's not working so well, just out to the side. And then again, back straight up, flex the heel, core active as you lower that leg. And again, other one coming up, press it up toward the ceiling, hands, palms up or down, your choice. Leg over toward your hand or straight out to the side, whatever works best for your body. And again, slowly back up, back connected, core activated, flex the heel, lowering slowly through that leg. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more complicated now. We're going to do sitting bones towards your heels and either bending your knees or with the knees straight up, bring those heels in and up toward the ceiling. So we're in our T position. Hands, palms down for a little more stability if you'd like. Or you can bring them next to your hips if you think that that would be a more appropriate position. Because we're going to kind of pop up with the hips and bring the feet up toward the head. So I think probably the arms by the hips is going to be more effective to do that. So again, just lift and oops, and then run into the desk. That's not going to work. So we're not going to go all the way over. Just kind of press your hands into your lower back for a little bit of support in that kind of half shoulder stand. And then releasing slowly back into the perpendicular legs position. And then core activated and either one leg at a time or both together. We're going to lower those legs. So again, you can have your hands at your sides or out to T position. And as those legs get connected, just take a moment and breathe and relax. So 
Sorry, plugging Sage's clock back in. Okay, so here we are in corpse position. Just a little recline integration one more time. Then we're going to sitting bones towards your heels, lifting your heart, hands, palms up, and reaching again towards your toes. Just lifting through the chest and exhaling it back down. So inhale, heart up, reach those hands towards your toes and back down. One more time, reach it up and out and back down. Take a moment again, just feeling how that is in your body. And then sitting bones towards your heels, bending your knees, heels in near your hips and back connected down. So get that core nice and activated, sitting bones sliding towards your heels, bottoms of your feet connected to the floor, knees straight up in line with your heels and your hips. We're gonna turn the hands, palms up, and then lift your heart, and reach for one foot with the hand on that side, so the other side is stretching, so a little lateral motion through the and back to the center, and then reach to the other side, and back to the center, and down. And again, if that's too much for your neck, you can bring those hands behind your head, and then angle the elbow toward your foot as you go into that sideways motion at each end, and then back down. So either way, always lifting the heart, not your chin towards your chest and your forehead moving towards your knees, but your forehead and face straight up to the ceiling in whichever way you do your arms. So again, chest up, reach for the toes, come to the center, reach for the other toes, back to the center, and down. Or bring your hands behind your head, elbows straight out. Again, lift your chest, elbow toward the foot, back to the center, elbow toward the foot, back toward the center, and lower your upper body. So what you wanna be feeling on that is that side is stretching as you move away from it, getting that oblique activated in the side you're turning toward, and then stretching it out as you go toward the other side. So again, lifting up, elbow straight out if you're on the elbow version, elbow toward the leg, toward the foot, back up, elbow on the other side, stretching and contracting the side you're moving toward, and back to the center, and down. And again, if you're doing the arm straight version, hands or palms up, stretching toward your toes as you lift your heart, and reach for the foot, coming back to the center, reach for the other foot, back to the center, and down. Just take a moment and breathe. Exhale and release. And then hands out to T position. Turn your hands, palms down. Knees are still bent, sitting bones towards your heels. You just bring those feet up off the floor, and we're going to lift the hips just a little bit. So it's just a little like bounce up through the hips. So bounce and down, and just feel that core work as you bounce up and down. And if you feel really ambitious, you could bounce up and bring your knees further toward your head. You don't have to do that. Just up and down, just a little like a hop. And take it a few times, and then bring the feet back to the floor, slide the legs out, hands at your sides, turn the palms up, and again a little reclined integration, letting that belly soften and release. Take a moment and breathe, feel the core. And 
Now bring your arms up to T position. We're going to lift the upper body and the right hand and bring it up as if you're reaching toward the feet that it's only going to go parallel to your body. So get that again, stretch through the oblique. And then back down. And then lifting up, bringing that arm across till it's parallel with your leg. And then back down. And again, lifting your body, reaching across, parallel with your arm and leg, and arm back down. And one more time, lift up, reach that arm, fingertips toward your toes, hand, arm, parallel to your leg, and back down. And again, just take a moment and breathe. So we'll do a twist, similar to what we were doing before, but into our full twist this time. So we're starting with the hands T position, palms up, sitting bones toward the heels, pressing your back down. Bring your right leg straight up toward the ceiling, flex the foot. So this time we're rolling all the way onto our left side. So right foot to the floor, right hand on top of your left hand on the floor. So you're all the way on your left side, head on the floor, pat under it if you need to for your neck. Don't keep that head up too much. If you can reach your foot with your left hand, you can hold the foot, otherwise hold the leg wherever it feels right. And bring your right arm back up right above your shoulder, palm open, look up at it, and then lower the back of your hand right at shoulder level. So not up toward your head or down toward your he hips, but straight up from your shoulder toward the floor. And remember, the more you keep your hand on your foot and the foot on the floor in front of you, your lower back is in the twist. Be gentle if you need to. The more your hand goes toward the floor, the more intense the twist is. So don't expect to have it reach the floor if your spine isn't ready to go. And just keep turning your head for your neck and shoulder to join the twist. So the hand comes down, then focus on your shoulder also coming down, if you like that middle back twist. And again, just breathe there a few times, relaxing in your twist. Deep breaths, exhaling tension. And after a few breaths there, just release your leg or foot, roll onto your back. Bring that foot again back perpendicular to the floor, flex the heel, and lower with your core activated, slowly bringing that heel all the way to the floor. When it gets down, just relax. Feel everything a little bit more activated. And of course, we've got a twist to the other side. So again, shoulders and shoulder blades down, hands, palms up, T position. Sitting bones toward your heels, press the back down, and that left leg comes up, flex the foot, press it out. Keep the knee as straight as you can, and this time we roll all the way to the right side. Left hand on top of the right hand, and left foot to the floor. Keep your head on the mat and pad if you need to. And then as you get situated all the way onto that right side hip, you can bring the foot up and into your hand, hold the foot, or just hold your leg wherever it comes. Left arm straight up to the ceiling, look up at it, and exhaling again, right at shoulder level, lower that hand behind you. Turn your head, keep looking toward that arm behind you as it goes or your neck and shoulder twist. Keep your foot in your hand and your foot to the floor if you like that lower back twist. And again, let the hand come down and shoulder come down as much as they want for that middle back twist. But remember, if your hand stays in the air, that just means your spine isn't ready to release all the way to the floor with that hand. So don't worry about it. Just breathe and relax. Exhale, 
letting things release more through those ligaments along the spine. And your hand may lower after a while as you breathe. But if it doesn't, that's okay too. That means that's where your body is ready to go. So again, just breathe and relax into your twist as far as it wants to go. Maximizing or minimizing whatever's right for your body. Always personal practice. And then releasing your foot or your leg. Again, roll onto your back. Get that whole back of your body connected. Press that foot up toward the ceiling and slowly lower it all the way down. When the foot touches again, totally relax through the belly, through the spine. Hands bringing, bringing your hands near your hips, palms up and into corpse position for our final relaxation. So shoulder blades toward your hips, shoulders down into the mat, hands, palms up slightly away from your sides. Belly soft, breathing. Just let your legs be wherever they'd like to be. Soften your jaw and your face. Just close your eyes. Focus on releasing through that belly, through that core. Letting everything go. Your body totally relaxed. And allowing everything to sink into that surface beneath you. Deep breaths in, exhaling, just relaxing. As your body gets heavier and softer and sinks deeper into that earth embrace, just let it go. Fully supported by Mother Earth, just relaxed, totally released, belly moving, breath Building deep. Every exhalation just sinks you deeper into that earth embrace. Let your body soften and relax completely. As your body relaxes, just release thoughts of your body from your mind. Mother Earth supports you always. Just let your body go. And as you release thoughts of your body, other thoughts come to your mind. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no need to think of the past, no need to anticipate the future. Just allow all those thoughts to drift in and out as easily as your breath. Fill your body with breath. Empty your mind of thoughts. And just let your awareness release both your body and your mind. Allowing your awareness just to sink deep within, finding that peace place, filling your body with peace, filling your mind with peace, just taking a few moments to be. And when you're ready, if you're ready to release from your relaxation, just begin breathing more deeply, stretching more gently in every way. As you breathe more fully, drawing energy and awareness to the moment, to the room, to your body, just begin living however feels good for you. Fingers and toes, arms and hands, 
And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, just press your back down, drawing your heels toward your hips and your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good for your yoga hug of appreciation today. Let your body know you appreciate all its yoga work today and all the work it does for you every day. And when you're ready to sit up, roll over to the side. And sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.